Hey guys, Prangle Gaming here, and welcome to episode 7 of the Millwall Career Mode. Now, I said before I do anything in today's episode, I'll be showing you where we are in the league table, and that's what I'm going to do right now. So, we are currently sitting at 11th in League 1. We've played 5 games with 1 1, drawn 3, and lost 1, and we have a positive goal difference of plus 2. And of course, them 6 points don't look too bad in the league table, and we're only 6 points off of the team at the top, which is Southend United and also Warsaw. So, in today's episode, we're going to have to play up against Bury and Sheffield United. So, there'll be two interesting games. So, let's progress and see if anything happens. I know that Williams is out, and hopefully, he will be back for the first game. So, let's go and find out. Okay, so we currently have a contract offer from South Africa. Now, as much as I really do like South Africa, I'm going to have to stall it for now. Because at the moment, all I'm focusing on is the Millwall career mode. If you guys would want me to do anything on the sidelines, then maybe. But I don't think it's worth me doing it international. As that just adds to the stress of doing a career mode. So I'm just going to stall it for now. We'll see how it goes. Right, so we are going to be playing Bury away from home. So I've got Ford in goal. Hancock in the left back position. Ebanks Landel and the captain Tony Craig in the centre back position. Cummins is then the right back. Left mid is Aiden O'Brien, the two centre midfielders are Askins and Sean Williams. He has actually made a recovery for this game. We've then got Fred in the right midfield spot. Then John Marquis was asking to play, so he partners Lee Gregory up front. Hopefully we can get some goals. I have upped the difficulty to world class, as I thought it was a bit too easy on professional. And so I really want the challenge of being able to win games on world class, and hopefully we can do so against Bury, get three points and have a very good game. I actually have the same sponsor as Blackpool, I've just noticed. So, let's get into the game. Hopefully, we can get three points. Let's go. So, it's going to then try and play it to Sorez, but Williams intercepts, and it's a great pass off the pitch for John Marquis. Of course, the striker is very lethal and moving forward. He's going to create a great chance here. Marquis to Aiden O'Brien, and there we go. We have scored. It is 1-0. Aiden O'Brien with the goal. Hopefully, we can maintain this lead. It was a great move. John Marquis was playing fantastic there. And then played the ball into the area, and Aiden O'Brien shouldn't miss there that was his first touch chance there and that was a fantastic strike couldn't have taken it better myself fantastic and now we're winning 1-0 away from home this is the best scenario definitely what we wanted it's now 1-0 we have scored it is 1-0 Leon Clark with the goal and we have slipped up yet again we cannot afford to keep doing this but for some reason we do nevertheless it was a great pass play through to Leon Clark it was great that he was one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper for Burry's sake but unfortunately, our goalkeeper couldn't do enough to stop him there. The defender was going to try and get across, but unfortunately he didn't. And of course, they have equalised. He's going to cross it in. Fred is going to head it away, but it's only as far as Mayer. Mayer, that's a great pass to Sedgwick. Oh, and that's stupid. Please say that's not a penalty. No. That's ridiculous. I could do absolutely nothing about it. That was an accidental coming together. And we've given away a penalty and we could actually lose this game. Sean Cummins is the offender. And that is ridiculous. I knew straight away it was going to be a penalty. So it's Leon Clark versus David Ford. Can Ford make the save? That's the challenge. He cannot. Leon Clark scores and they are winning 2-1. We have to try and get back in this game. We are losing 2-1. Unfortunately, I don't think we are going to get back in this game. As we've been struggling to score. And silly things like that. The simplest of touches, they get a penalty for it. We just get punished for it. It's not very easy for this club at the moment. We really need to hope we can get some sort of miracle like they did. And there you go. That's it. We've lost 2-1 against Bury away from home. This is ridiculous. A stupid tap knocks a player over and they get a penalty and that loses me the game. That should not happen. I'm fed up with these stupid things happening in any videos that I do. So many chances now. Fair enough, I've made some dangerous challenges and got red cards and penalties have been given. But things like that, they're not always penalties. And they shouldn't be given. And it's really, really frustrating to think that that was actually what cost me the game. If it weren't for that, I probably would have gone on to at least get a point. And, well, now I've got no points. And that is the worst case scenario. We didn't want to be in this situation. And yet again, we've lost the game just like we did against Wigan. We should not be losing points against teams like Bury. So let's go into the next game against Sheffield United. We have got them at home. We have to win that game now. That is a must win. So let's go and play them. Right, so here we go. We're playing Sheffield United at home. 
So I put Christian Walton in goal because I want to see how he does. Because in the first time he played, he actually was struggling. Now, at the moment, it is a crisis zone. But we aren't picking up the win. So I thought, why not put in a player that hasn't played that much this season? We've then got Joe Martin has been put in, in the left-back position. Because apparently, Mitch Hancock has been a terrible player since signing for us. Then got Ethan Ebanks Landel in the centre-back position. Partnered by Tony Craig, the captain. Then I put Romeo in at right back because I thought I need to put someone in there that hasn't played before. But I don't really want to be putting Carlos Edwards there as he's slowly starting to decrease in the rating. And his pace is getting a little bit less over gradual time. Now, Lee Martin has been put on the left midfield spot. Again, Martin Martin down the wing. It's going to get confusing, but it doesn't really matter. Now, Powell has been put in the centre midfield spot with... Sean Williams, our top goal scorer in the league at the moment, so he needs to score some goals in this game. Then got Paris going Hall in the right mid, then Morrison and Gregory up front. Alfie Pavey has been put on the bench because I hope he can come on and make an impact. At least get an assist, but maybe get a goal. Who knows? So let's get into the game. Hopefully, we can actually get a win because, as I've said before, it is crisis time. We do actually need to get a win. We don't want to be sitting that low in the table. I know the points are pretty close at the moment, but what happens when they're not? So let's go and see if we can get a win. Hopefully we can. Fingers crossed. But I'm not going to put anything past this team. Because at the moment we are struggling. Let's go. Well they come here the visitors with this wonderful... Oh and they have the best defensive record in the league. This is going to be even funner than what I thought it would be. So this is going to be such a struggle to try and get a result in this game. Roman, that's a great pass to Williams. Morrison, that's a great pass to Lee Martin. Martin with the strike, and there we go. Lee Martin has scored. He is one of the most outstanding players we've got in this team at the moment. And it isn't a striker yet again that scored, but I'll take the goal nevertheless. Can we hold on to this win? That is the more important answer. The goal was pretty well taken, I've got to be honest. He should be playing up front, and I probably will put him up front a few times this season. And now we are winning 1-0. Right, time for some substitutions. Shane Ferguson and Alfie Pavia are on for Steve Morrison and Lee Gregory. So we're bringing on two striking or attacking players to try and get more goals to in turn win this game by even more. Let's see what this will do. Cloiver down the wing. He's going to cross the ball into the area. What can Marlon Romeo do here? Oh, he did nothing. And unfortunately for them, Connor Salmon didn't header that in the back of the net. That was very, very close. I was ready to get very angry and frustrated with the team's defending but I'm quite fortunate that nothing came of that well that's a terrible pass there as Alfie Pavey wins the ball he plays it to Shane Ferguson who'll play it to Lee Martin Martin and then play the ball across to Alfie Pavey that was so close to going in the back of the net we're so unlucky that didn't go in we've still got an attack though it's Paris Cohen Hall what can Paris Cohen Hall do here if he can cut inside he can create a great opportunity Paris Cohen Hall to Alfie Pavey again he's hit the crossbar He's so unfortunate at the moment. Right, and there you go. We've finally won the game. We won it 1-0 on world-class difficulty. Finally, it took so long to get that win. And we've definitely done it now. Lee Martin with the goal. He's one of my favourite Millwall players. So I'm quite welcome to him scoring goals and performing really well in a Millwall shirt. So we have won it. I'm very, very proud of the team. Christian Welton had a solid performance. So... Let's get into the next game and hopefully we can get another three points. Right, and here we go. This is the final game of the episode. We'll be playing Peterborough. We are away from home. And the team is as follows. we got Christian Walton in goal, of course. He was the goalkeeper in the last game and he actually kept a clean sheet. So he get rewarded with a game against Peterborough. Hopefully he can turn around his form because at the beginning he wasn't fantastic. But that performance against Sheffield United was notably fantastic. We've got Joe Martin in the left-back position. Webster and Craig are the two centre-backs. We've got Carlos Edwards coming in at right-back. Aino O'Brien will play in the left midfield spot. Gardner and Williams are the centre midfielders. Cohen Hall is the right midfielder. And the strikers are Lee Martin. Yes, the left midfielder is playing up front as he was fantastic when he did the last time. And we've got Gregory partnering him. This should be a great team. Hopefully, we can go on and get three points. I hope that Martin is going to perform very well like he did in the last game. Hopefully, he can get another goal for us. We have got Morrison and Pavey on the bench, so we do have a lot of goal-scoring options. So, let's get into the game and see how well this team can do. We'll lay it off to Anderson, to Jack Collison. 
And Peter Barr has scored with Jack Leeson. He is an ex West Ham player. And this is a well worked goal. Unfortunately, the defence was all over the place. It was an easy layoff. And unfortunately, we have prayed the price, which is conceding that goal. And this could be very, very hard to come back from. Great interception by Gregory. Gregory can still go with the ball. That's a dangerous challenge. Do we get a penalty there? Yes, we do. That was a stupid challenge. And I think it was by their captain, which is even worse because he's the role model of the team. Yes, it was. And Gregory has won that penalty. So can we score it? That is the question. Sean Williams to take the penalty. Of course, he is the penalty master at the moment. He'll face Alnwick. Williams with the penalty. And he scores. The answer is, of course, we can score it. Sean Williams, a top goal scorer in League One. Firing on all cylinders yet again. Gardner coming in and making two crucial tackles there. Gardner, he's played it up the pitch for Lee Martin. What can Martin do here? Of course, he can play up the pitch for Lee Gregory. Gregory, the strike. Oh, and that's a great save by Alnwick. He was the only player stopping Millwall from scoring a second goal there. Fantastic save, may I add. And there you go. We are making some substitutions. Steve Morrison and Fred on for Paris going all. And Lee Gregory, can Morrison come on and score? Recently, he's been lacking in the goal-scoring department. Gardner, it's a great ball over the top for O'Brien. O'Brien plays it to Lee Martin. Of course, Lee Martin can do a lot in the area. Lee Martin, he's still going. Lee Martin with a strike. Oh, and he beats the goalkeeper. And we are winning 2-1. Lee Martin, of course, coming up with the goal again. He has been fantastic recently. I'm not going to complain about his form. He's been brilliant as a striker and an attacking player. And, well, Alnwick was the own downfall for Peterborough there. He couldn't stop the ball. It was a great goal. Great finesse. And we are winning 2-1. Hopefully, we can maintain this victory. And that will help us move up the table. Hey, no, Brian. That's a great pass to Lee Martin. Lee Martin. He's going to play up the pitch for Steve Morrison. He's headed away. But Sean Williams will now head it to Lee Martin again. Lee Martin still going with the ball. Martin! Oh, and he scored again. He has been fantastic recently. And maybe the striker position is his best position because he is scoring a lot of goals. And we're winning 3-1. This is the best scenario for the club. Of course, now we are getting wins. We need these wins if we are to win the title and move up to the championship first time of asking. Again, it was another finesse. And Alnwick again was very close to saving it. But he couldn't again. And we are now winning 3-1. And this should mean that we have won this game. And there we go. We have won the game 3-1 against Peterborough away from home. Lee Martin, the hero in this episode, arguably, as he has been scoring a lot of goals recently. Maybe the striker position is the best place for him to play in terms of the stats. Well, it looks like we deserve to win the game. We had more shots on target. We only had four shots on target and four shots. We made use of pretty much every single shot by scoring three goals. We played fantastic. I'm glad. We beat Sheffield United and now we've beaten Peterborough, which is looking like we are on the up and we could be challenging for at least a playoff place this season. It would be nice to say that I could challenge for the title. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Lee Martin has been fantastic and it's definitely by far the most successful episode we've had in League One so far. So like, comment, subscribe and of course, stay tuned for the next episode of the Millwall Career Mode. Goodbye.